to Vlasisi. I was just coming to your office. So I am uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. What about my money? Uh, you see, things have been very bad and rough for me. I... Shut up! You think you can come to this office and borrow money and not to pay a bill? Can you imagine this, this hungry man that will suffer from dying? Uh, uh, if I wanted to run away, I wouldn't come to beg you to just give me little... This is exactly one month after the date you agreed to pay. And now instead of you to come and pay, you, you have come back to come and beg. I'll not teach you how not to borrow money from a money lender and not to pay at the right time. Boys, remove all these clothes. Okay, okay. Remove these clothes. Okay. okay. That condition bed can be shown. Remove his clothes! That condition bed can be shown. That condition bed can be shown. That condition bed can be shown. Okay. Hey! Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, please. Okay, please. Remove his clothes. Okay, please. Remove the house. Hey! Why don't you look at me? Take it, take it, take it. Take it down. Remove the clothes. Okay, 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 please. Okay, please. Okay, please. Please, 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 please. Please leave me alone! 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 Please Please tell them to give me my clothes now. I can't go home like this naked, please. I'll give you at least seven days. And not more than seven days to pay my money. And if you don't pay my money, I'm going to unleash my dogs to eat your flesh. Get out of here! Get out of this place! <laughs> Please let me pay your caraman that brought me. There is no money in the house. I've just spent the last money. Hmm. Well, let me go and see if I can borrow some money from my fine. Okay, please, when you get it, eh, help me pay your caraman. Eh? Please buy the gate. Okay.
sorry. I've given the man the money. What happened? now I know ha huh. but the cash is not just there please be hmm. with us I am not living here today until that money is in my hand I have a big problem for about feet night to solve George in fact give me my money give me my money my money I need what will you do now do with your, 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 your property now, your, your TV set, radio and... No, no. You can't take our gadgets now, George. Say something. No, it's going to be for now. Ah, this TV is the only thing we used to keep ourselves company now. You can't take it all. Ebiere, the young man wants his money and I don't have it. Do you want him to take you instead? For what? Let him have the, the, have them. We'll buy new ones. Johnson, can carry the gadgets. Sharply, pick them. This boy, don't touch my son. Don't touch my son. Don't just touch my son. Let me tell you. I'll buy you, Mr. Johnson. I'll buy you, Mr. Johnson. This thing you are doing is not good. I'll buy it. It's not good. I'll buy you a bigger one now. Listen. I'll buy you a bigger one. Listen. I'll buy you a bigger one. Listen now. Okay, okay, we're going, we're going. Listen, listen, listen. Okay, Collins, come back. Come here. Collins. Collins. I'll beat you. Come here. Collins. Oh, my God. I thought losing my job was going to be an opportunity for a better one. But it has been from one suffering to the other. Why do you keep talking like this, George? Why? Why? Hmm? Look. I have often told you, George, there is no rich man that has not gone through his own portion of tribulations and trials. Rome was not built in a day. Even the Bible says that sorrows might last in the night, but joy comes in the morning. Oh, 
we need to do is keep praying and be steadfast. I don't know. The one thing I do know is that it will surely come. You need to start to see the light at the end of the tunnel, you know. You start acting like a man. If you keep acting like this, how do you want me to act? Yes, sir. Have you done it? Now, all right. All right, you make and you swear well well. You know my market is now. You're my customer, I suppose. Okay, but this is for me. I know go forget to kiss you now. Just rush me now. Shall we come back again? I know you. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. Bye bye. Thank you. Do well. Mama Marka, good morning. Oh. <laughs> good How morning. Are good morning. Uh, Mama Marka, you see, there's something I came to talk to you about. What uh, is I'm sure you know that uh, things are very difficult for us these days. What do I do? Uh, so you see, your son, he has not eaten this morning. In fact, he has not eaten since yesterday. So I said I should come and uh, talk to you. If you can just give us a little. You can open my gun, Gary. Don't owe you a little, Gary. No, we bring the money back. Oh, so it is my turn now. Yeah. It is Mama Maka's turn to come and buy credits and spoil my market. Give us a little, Gary, and just a little rice. Borrow us, we will pay. You no. think I don't know you? Or you think I never hear how you go about collecting things from credit and you will never go back? You are a foolish woman. You are very, very stupid. Who are the people saying all this thing? Hey, who are the people saying all this thing? You think I don't know? How can you do that? And any road where you go collect, you know, go pay. That place will scarce your leg, you will not pass the gate. I beg, I promise you. Shall I probably go? No, Mama, I will pay, pay you back. They go! 419. They go, I beg. Mama, can we fight it? Yes, you are fighting now. Say no. You hear? What am I talking They go, I never hear. You didn't see that woman? Every time she will go about to collect money for people. She will never go and pay them. Foolish woman. Good morning, my dear. How much is it? Okay. It's 150. No, oh, it's not 120. It's 150 everywhere. I mean, I know I know if cheat too. No. Can she be doing that to people? She's a very wicked woman. She's a very, very, very wicked woman. Your son never eats. Nami, you won't come cook for your son. Thank you, my dear. Bye bye. Bye bye, you. And when this market don't fall to, all of them will be laughing at me. All of them will hide me. Because my mama can't don't fall, don't fall. More than what people say, Jiu, more than what people say. More than what people say, Jiu, more than what people say. You are good, you are kind, you're more than what people say. You are more than what people say. Jehovah, you are more than what people say. You are good and you are kind. You're more than what people say. You're more than what people say. Jehovah, more than what people say. You are more than what people say. Jehovah, more than what people say. 
Oh, you are good and you are kind. Oh, what people say. They say that I am not good. She over you more than what people say. They say that I am bad. She over the what people say. I know that you are good and you are kind. Oh, the world people say. Lord, your mother, what people say, Jehovah, you are the world people say. You are mother, what people say, Jehovah, you are the world people say. You are good, you are kind, you are mother, the world people say. Jehovah, Jehovah, you are Good. You are kind, your mother, what people say. Oh, Father, Lord, King of glory, I tell my rock of ages. Wipe away my shame, oh Lord. Wipe away my shame, oh Lord. To you alone, do I pray all my troubles, Lord. King of glory, I turn around of ages. Where are you, Lord? Where are you? I cannot take this anymore, my God. Take this shame away from me. Take it away from me. Just go to sleep without communicating with your God. Yeah, I'm tired now. I just finished praying in the city room. Hmm. George, you know that is not true. Sit down here and let us read and, and pray together. George, look, we have to be very prayerful. We really do need to pray. Even the Bible says that prayers can move all mountains and that we should pray without season. Look, we don't even know where our problems are coming from. We need to pray without season and present our case to God fervently and God will answer. Okay, okay, let us pray. That reminds me, I want us to wait on the Lord. I want us to pray and fast for seven days. Ah. Yes, for seven days and, and then we present our case to God and let us challenge him and see what he will do this time. Okay, 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 we'll do it. Thank you. Just put it that way because I know you don't want to put it. Oh, yeah, I know that I'm not going to come. In Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you because it's about two or three are gathered in your name, in their mystery. Collins! Yes. Um, let me go and submit the application. Huh? Yes, good luck. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Why is he not ready for school yet? Honey, they sent him out of school yesterday. His registration is not complete. We didn't pay his school fees. Uh, my guy, you've been a friend indeed. 
I hope that will be enough. And my guy, look, you're a friend of me. You're a brother in a million. How could I have been surviving this situation without you? Oh, come on. By the way, George. George. Regarding that contract. Yes, 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 yes. It's worth 395 million. What? Mm -hmm. You see, my godfather back in secondary school days helped me to get it. So you and I are going to be in a country next week because the contract will be approved next week and we get 50% payment to commence the contract. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> you need me back? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Hi, sweet. Hi, how are you, sweet? Wow. I believe you girls have met my friend George. George, this is my number one. No matter who. No. <laughs> Isn't that right, honey? Yeah. And meet her friend. So, um, Things are moving well for him. Really? Especially business wise. Huh? Well, 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 according to him, he said there's this contract he has which he wants us to do together. Really? That's what he told me. <laughs> you see? <laughs> you see? Our prayers are already getting answers. Yeah, but I'm becoming a prayer warrior now. That is good. Yeah. Now you can see the answers already. I'm seeing the That's really, 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 really nice. That reminds me. Mm. You are owing me one money. <laughs> what is fun? What is fun? <laughs> George, I'm not laughing. I'm Every time you are owing me money, you start laughing. No, no. I'm you went 15 naira from me yesterday. Uh, okay, we'll put it in prayers. <laughs> <laughs> you put 15 naira in prayers. Let's put it in prayers. George, give me that money. No, I was no, trying to no, get you to buy some money. Okay, okay. Now, at least now. My God, my God. This one is a bad man. You have problems. <laughs> You have major problems. Collins, eat. I'll go and buy you more vitamins. You don't like eating. Oh. Are you ready? Yes, I am. When are you coming back? Um, I don't really know. But if I get to Abuja, Henry will give me a better idea and I'll call immediately. Call me. How do you want to come in? Do, you, do I have a handset? <laughs> Before I change this, my powerful handset, <laughs> I'll buy you one first. See, just change your handset. Because calling your handset is not easy. <laughs> Try to change the handset. I'm going to buy you one first before I change it. Okay. Bobo. Bobo. Take care of your money from here. The demand is your city, your common card. You want to start practicing law now, huh? <laughs> okay. Baby, I love both of you, okay? 
me. That's the Bible I kept in your hand. Make sure you read it all this time. Eh? And watch and pray. Watch and pray. You are not prayerful. George, watch and pray. You don't like praying. But I like praying now. It's just that this time around, <laughs> I wouldn't have to kneel on the hard floor. To <laughs> Look, George, I've always told you, you don't have to kneel. It's just a sign of respect. You can pray in any way, anyhow. Hmm? Let me see you. Collins, how are you? How was school today? Fine, no, no, so good. Yes, and um, there's some garlic left. Oh, I want food! Collins, I used all the money in the house to, to uh, get your school requirements. Are you not happy that I'm you're back to school? I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I want food! Okay, we'll, we'll put a lot of water inside the garlic and we'll soak it down for each other. I'm hungry, I'm hungry! Okay, come and remove your uniform first. I want food, I want food, I want food. Collins! Collins, where are you going to? Collins! Collins! For food. Good afternoon, but I want food. Okay, come, 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 come. See, I don't have food. Oh, I'm hungry. And wait, the kind of food I have is tea and bread. Do you want tea? Yes, uncle. What about your mommy? She's at home. She's inside. Mr. Ben, I don't know how to thank you. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for all that you have done for us. I don't know how to thank you enough. May God bless you. Uh, Iberi. There is no problem. There is nothing to worry yourself about. Um, after all, what are we neighbors for? If we cannot help ourselves in situations like this. Um, what happened to your sets? Actually, for a while now, things have been very difficult for us. Uh, we borrowed money from some people and when we couldn't pay back, they came and took the TV, the radio, the VCD, in fact, the all electronics. That's why Collins is always running to you for food. You know, he's just a child and he cannot endure what we can endure. Don't worry. I promise that I will always help with the little I can. Thank you so much. Please, just take this. Thank you so much. I don't really have much at home now. Just manage this. Maybe by tomorrow I will get you something better. Thank you. I have to be on my way. Okay. Gary, uh, I just remembered something. What is that? Tomorrow I'll be very busy. I'll be having a conference tomorrow and it will last till late. And I'll be traveling to Kano that same night. I won't be back till three weeks time. Um, I don't know how your tomorrow will be, but if you'll be chanced, why not check me at the Amanda Hotels, where the conference will be taking place. 
when you get there, ask the receptionist where the conference is taking place. You'll be directed. You'll I'll be there. there. <laughs> I'll be there. Okay. I'll respect you. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 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 The number you have called is not available at the moment. Please try again later. <laughs> the number you have called is not available. Hey. Oh, madam, is the line language? It's not, it's not going through it. Why is this number never available? <sighs> if only I had this Henry's number. What is wrong with this line? Okay, sir. All right, sir. Good day, sir. Yeah, good day, young lady. How are you? Thank you, thank you. Please, I'm expecting someone. If anyone comes asking where they are doing their conference, please, can you direct her to my room? Your room? Yes. Okay, wait. Please, just take this. Just direct her to my room, please. Thank you, sir.
they have in the conference here? Conference? Oh, conference. Upstairs. Room 12. Upstairs? Yeah. Thank you very much. You said there was a conference going on. Yeah, we just ran it off, so I decided to cool off here so that I will wait for you and give you the money before I embark on the trip. Oh, that's alright. You're welcome. Just make yourself comfortable. Yeah, make yourself comfortable. <laughs> Let me get a drink. I'm yes. all right. You're welcome. Make yourself. Hey, you're welcome. Uh, uh, You can cool off with this, at least to make it for you. Mr. Ben, why are you locking the door? No, you see, Iberi, you're a beautiful woman. You're a very beautiful woman. And you married the wrong man. That is why you're suffering. Like I have earlier promised you, I will always help out with little I can. Mr. Ben, I am very disappointed in you. I am very disappointed no. in you. No! You, you only said you are going to give me some money. That's why I came. I don't understand all this kind of talk. Yes. What kind of talk is this? See, see. Yes, I asked you to come and collect money. This is the money. And what I expect you to do is, this is the money and this is bad. Just, let's, let's just do it once. Let's, let's enjoy ourselves. Then the money belongs to you. Um, Mr. Penukia, I, I want to go. No, see, if you, you don't understand. I mean, this is the money I promised you. This is the bed. Just choose. Mr. Ben, open the door. I want to go. I will shout. I don't, I, I don't want the money again. I really don't want the money again. I, I, I want to go. Please, I, I want to leave. I don't, I don't want the money again. Mm -hmm. no, Mr. Ah. Mr. Ben, don't come close to me. I, 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 will, I, will, I will hit this thing on your head. I will hit it on you. I, I will shout. I will shout. Just, I, I, want to, I just want to go outside. I will hit you with this time. I just want to take the care. Greater than 12, which is less than 13. You wrote to it again. When finish, I'll mark it. Mommy, if I finish, can I go to a best house and watch TV? No. No, you cannot. In fact, I don't want to ever hear that man's name in this house again. Neither do I want to see you anywhere around this house. But mommy, why? Okuben has been giving me food and... Okuben is a devil's child. He's a very bad man. Okuben has been using people to make money. Or do you want him to use you to no. make money? No. Don't go there again, no. Don't you ever go to Okuben's place again. Is that clear? Yes, mommy. You'll be a very obedient boy and, and obey me, won't you? Yes, movie. I'll finish your homework and go and observe your sister. 
Collins. Promise me you will never go to Uncle Ben's place again. Yes, mommy. Yes, mommy, what? I will never go to you. Can say that again. Say that again, George. <laughs> I told you. Oh. Just in a little while, things can just change for you. Very. Just like that. You don't know that you're about to change the destiny of a family. Oh, come on, George. No, you know you won't understand. Oh, come on. What are friends for? <laughs> what I know is that I want to, I want to, I want to celebrate this thing with a bottle of champagne. Ah, yes, it goes for a celebration. Hey, hey. And I know the right place. The exact place to do that. <laughs> Next time you say anything, I'm not gonna doubt you. Where is the place, man? Look, come with me. <laughs> wow. Help me tell my wife that this is my new number. Yes, I lost my phone and I didn't come to Abuja with the same pack. So, you know, all these necessary documents they need you to present before you can retrieve your old number. I didn't have them, so it was easier for me to pick a new line. Uh, right now, I'm not in Lagos. Yes, I'm doing something in Abuja. And I won't be in Lagos until two weeks time. Yes. Okay. Bye bye. Mrs. Bimbo, I hope she doesn't give you any trouble anymore. Because at least now you do her homework properly. Okay. You know, every time you school, my eye will be telling me that I always feel weak. Why? Your body's not hot. I'm sure it's because you're always playing the song at school during break. Hmm? Okay. When you come back from school, I'll check you properly, okay? And at least don't play in the sun today, okay? So that as I can know the true I'll take. Paint Abuja City red, blue, white, green, whatever color you can think of, man. We're gonna boogie there. Eh, eh. We're gonna boogie there. <laughs> hey, what's the matter with you, man? Don't think I want to do that kind of painting now. And why not? Let me finish building before painting. I don't get your point. What is the problem? I miss my wife and son. I haven't been able to establish any contact. Now I get it. I get it. 
Look, everything's gonna be okay, man. Yeah, I hope so. You're gonna catch your phone, you're gonna catch your trips, and you're gonna go back to your family in a short while, man. Look, we're talking about polishing money here after a long, long time of suffering, man. <laughs> Look, you better hurry up and let's get cracking before the pepper soup and push me to finish. <laughs> and I don't want to miss that. <laughs> wow. That's Come on. <laughs> Judge him, man. coming back again. I thought the thing was gone. She knew we used drugs and, and we were feeling better after some time. Why is it coming back now? But George, I don't even know what is going on with this number. Almost a whole month now. And I can't even get him on the phone. Just let me hear all by myself with all this while, eh? I don't even have any money with me. She would have just taken you straight to the hospital. Sorry. I'll try and get some money so I can take you to the hospital tomorrow. See, please try and sleep. You didn't sleep throughout the whole night. And I was dabbing your body throughout the night. Try and sleep, eh? that he has severe shortage of blood. Shortage of blood? Exactly. So what do I do? Madam, you see, I'm, I must come out point blank with you. Your son's life is in danger and he needs blood transfusion fast. Blood transfusion? What should I do? Um, you see, I what I'm actually saying is this: um, we need to 
transfuse blood into his body. And we need to buy blood for that. Doctor, on my way here, I borrowed this money from some of the people in my neighborhood, in my compound. Please, can you use it to buy the blood you need? I'll bring some money, tomorrow morning. I promise. I'll get some money. <laughs> Look, there's nothing to worry about, okay? Mother, it's okay. You can keep this. I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. Thank I'll you. see what I can do. Please, can I see him now? Sure. He's upstairs at the children's ward. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father God, we have come to you. We present your son Collins before you, Lord. He is sick in the body, but he said it, that none shall be sick in the land. That his body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. That is not a dwelling place for sickness. You told us to ask, and you shall be given. You told us to seek, and that we shall find. And you told us to knock, and you shall open unto us. Father, we are asking, give us. Lord, we are seeking, show us. Lord, we are knocking, open unto us. I know that very soon, I will hear good news that your son is here. Father, from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet, we know that very soon we hear good news that your son is healed in the name of Jesus. That your son is healed in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Father, for answer our prayers. Thank you, Holy Spirit of the living God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Father. Sister Ibere, what about your husband? Pastor, I have not heard from George since the travel to Abuja. Have you tried calling him? Pastor, I have been calling his phone. His line is never available. Never. Is there no other person that you can call to ask? Uh, he has a friend, Harry, that he traveled with. That one's line is even worse. Each time I call, it is not available or it's not going to, I, I don't know, I'm confused. I don't know what is going on. I'm confused. Why not send someone over to Abuja? <laughs> Pastor, if I knew where George was, I would have gone myself. Don't worry. He will surely return. I'm losing faith. Oh no, you don't have to lose faith. The Lord is in control. Don't. Something needs to Cheer up. He knows it. He sees all you're going through. Hmm? It is well. Mother, you see, your school is much and um, for your son's blood is yielding no positive results. Why? Because he's all negative and is a peculiar one. It's always difficult to get. By the way, isn't George back? No, he's not. And um, when is he expected back? I don't know. sound very scary. But if my observations are correct, I'm afraid may not have much. Now, silly things we take for granted. I be the one. All this may be someone wanted. All around the right things we can try.
don't want to share your money with us, we'll share these ladies with you. No! Uh, no, bro! To move up, blow your head up. And you don't put your face down, bro! Please, 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 please. You see this one? No, it's not. 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 God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. This one, this one is my wife. This one she's not wear. She's not wear. This thing is fine. It's not like she's not wear. She's not wear. Oh God. 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 Oh You can use condom. Not with my wife. She will not allow that.
church. What is the problem? Again? Why are you avoiding me? I am not avoiding you. What are you hiding from me? I am not hiding anything from you. Then why can't we make love like normal people? Like husband and wife. Why? I can't. What do you mean you can't? Have you suddenly gone impotent? Oh, you're in the cult that forbids you from sleeping with your wife. Ibiru. in your heart for peace to exist between you and your husband. I mean, I see the way both of you behave to each other. Sister, it's no good. The other day, Mako had to make his own meal. Sister, I know and I believe that he loves you. At least, he buys you gifts every time he comes back from work. I mean, I am not a child. I have a very strong feeling that George's hands are not clean concerning Collins' death. I just can't place a finger on it. Do you know that for seven months now, my husband has not touched me? Do I have leprosy? Or could it be because of the rape? Sister, it must have been very traumatic for him. Just take it easy. At least you're the wife. You have to draw him closer to you. As long as George refuses to play his marital obligation to me as a husband, I refuse to carry out my roles as a wife. And that's the way I want it to be. At least for now.
looking for? Yes, Mama. It's called permanent. Specially recommended for the body health of Eh? <laughs> Mama, I know it. It lasts for four good years and it, did, it doesn't need any treatment at all. Four years? Telling you. Oh, I like this stuff. Did you I get one? No, you ask sister, I don't know anything about it. This is wonderful. I'm coming. Enjoy your room, man. Hmm. Beth, why didn't you tell me all this while? Mama. I thought I'll be able to handle this by myself. Mama, I can't. It is eating me up. I need help, Mama. Mama, I need help. Judge my son, please. It is wise for a man to always be patient and tolerant with his wife. In whichever way my daughter has offended you, please forgive her. Please don't allow anything come between you and your wife. In fact, when have you called me on the phone telling me all that has been happening? I was not happy. I was not happy at all with my daughter. <clears throat> Please, my dear. I strongly believe that the good Lord that gave us the first child will still bring another one. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, my son. By the grace of God, from now onwards, everything will be okay between I and my wife. All right. Thank you. Thank God, my son. I'll be leaving first thing tomorrow morning. Why so soon? Hmm. My journey was not planned. I left my visa just to come and help chase away Satan from this house. Church, these antiretroviral drugs will last you for a while. At least it will help boost your immune system. Anyway, so how is your wife? She's fine. So have you resumed your sexual activities yet? Not yet. My conscience will not just allow me to touch this great woman. Why? I said before, I'm scared of infecting her. I mean, this woman has been too good to me. Look, George, people with HIV still have normal sexual relations with their spouses, okay? All you need to do is just to be more careful, that's all. Since you left. 
I miss you so much. I remember Less than 15. What is the answer? Goodness. 10 is greater than 12, which is less than 13. You wrote to it. Okay. I'm finished. Now, running on the road. Sister, there is no calling. I can't see anyone. No, I just wanted to recount that. I'm taking it back immediately. Okay. Hmm. So, what are you going to have for lunch then? I want you. <laughs> you know, I would have taken you up on that offer. But I know that you have to come back to work. So, I made you something nice. Come get it. Hey. What can they see that I need? You know, at times when I'm on the dining table eating with you, I lose appetite for the food just because I am more pilate and beautiful than this. <laughs> George, I 
know what you're up to. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to drag me to that bed. Okay. It's not working. <laughs> the money but where did you put the money? Hey Bear, you want to get even with me, right? <laughs> Is it? Give me my money now! I don't have time! What's your talking about what money? Why about the money? Why did you give it? Look, because of the urgency of this contract, I'm going to get money from another source to fund this contract. But before I come back, make sure that my money is placed here on this table for me. Please! Money. What money? When I was sleeping here, you was counting the money now. I went downstairs. I don't come back up. I don't understand. It's Why 
You know, I've noticed that after Abuja, your fire for girls has died down. Hope no shaking, my God. Hope not in the bar. <laughs> That's my George. George, I'm sure. has come over you what has come over you George I said I did not take that money and I stand by that I did not take it you want to try me eh? you're not stepping your feet into this house unless you get that money the earlier the better I don't care where you go I don't I don't care anything I want just that money and that money that money I'll go. and don't touch me just don't touch me I'll go. Judge, I will go. I need a break anyway. Dede, that is not all though. George came back home with large sums of money in his briefcase. I went to call him for lunch and we went downstairs to have lunch. When we finished having lunch, George called me that the money was stolen. That I am the one that stole the money. All my efforts at explaining to him that I did not take the money, proved about it. He started threatening me that if I don't find the money, that my mother will come and pick my dead body. Then he threw me out. Uncle, do you know that since Collins died for over one year now, George has not touched me. Each time I try to touch him, he refuses. It's not as if he's sick or something. Titi, I don't understand. Uncle, I don't know what is going on. I'm tired. Okay, my daughter, to me. No, he can't turn you into a madman. He can't. It's all right. Now that I have had everything. We must get to the bottom of this matter. Just relax, okay? Relax. Feel at home here. This is your home. I will make sure that your home becomes normal again. Okay? Relax. You must go and look for something to eat. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Go there and get something to eat. It's okay. Thank you very much. It's the tragedies of life. 
It's the sadness of a love song Am I living just to die? It's all sorrows when I'm long gone Is it the hunger in my eyes? All the riches cannot buy me love Is it the recklessness of man? Everything in life is gone wrong How could I be blind That I could not see it coming How could I not hear Did not hear the voice of warning Don't forsake me now Don't forsake me Lord I'm hidden Sorrows in my heart is beating now Silly things we take for granted Why should I be the one All oh, this may be so unwanted If I could turn it all around Change my right things from beginning Is it late for me to try not your dog. You don't have to treat her with so much disdain and hatred. If you, if you look at her, you will see that she has lost weight. If you call your wife a thief, what do you expect an outsider to call her? You see, we are not happy with the report we have received. But get back on the back home. Eh? Eh, both of you must love one another more than you have ever done before and what we need from the two of you is another grandchild in this house and not fight today beat tomorrow and all those other things we do not want them again no. abby yes thank you very much thank you george 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 Mama. how many times have i called you three times are you no longer a man? Answer me! I am. Then I want a grandchild. I want a grandchild, George. Because uh, your wife told me that you've not touched her for a very long time now. Why? George, why? And please, my son, no matter the offense your wife may have committed, you don't have to punish her that way. It is not proper. Hmm? George, look for your money carefully. God will help you find it. Most importantly, I want a grandchild. I want to hear the cry of a child in this house. 
Are you listening, George? Yes, ma'am. There, there. Uh -huh. Mama? Yes. Don't worry. Things will change from now on. Uh -huh. <laughs> I am very happy to hear that. <laughs> you see? What is it? Don't spoil it. Please don't spoil it. I can't. What do you mean, I can't? I just remember that the doctor said you should rest for a long while after the rain. <laughs> I just remember the doctor says I should take a long walk after the rain. George, the earlier you tell me the truth about what is eating you up, the better for both of us. You see all this funny behavior you've been putting up now for a while, huh? I have tried though. George, God in heaven knows that. I have tried. What do I do? How do I solve this constant pestering for a child? If I try impregnating her, my HIV status will come out and that will be disastrous for both of us. Should I tell her about my condition? No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. I know what to do. I know what to do. <laughs> okay. Pastor. Yes, Sister. Since the rain incident, my husband has not touched me. Despite the intervention of my mother and several relatives, I was hoping that as a man of God, at least he would listen to you. It's all right, Sister Ibiere. God is still on the throne. There is nothing hidden from him. In the book of Hebrew, 4 verse 13, he said, Neither is there any creature that is not made manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto his eyes of whom we have to do. And in 1 John 3 20, he says, God is greater than our conscience. He knows everything. Therefore, cheer up. Hmm? He knows everything. Not only will you make it manifest, but we surely pull it down, no matter what it is. Now let us pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. And in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Is to see you, sir. Oh, let him come in. Oh, Mr. Demian. You're welcome, man. Your eyes are blind. Please sit down, sit down. So, how's work? Fine, fine. Well, I hope you're done with the study of the agreement. Um, yes, but it's just that um, there were like two or three minor adjustments I would like to. Oh, that's good, that's good. Well, um, my boss just uh, came in and asked for it. He actually wants to see you in the for the endorsement before he travels again this afternoon. Has been dead. 
Well, let me fetch it immediately so we can go right away. No problem. Um, care for anything? Uh, I'm okay. I'm all right. You sure? Well, Mr. Judge, uh, anything in matter? And after that, has this agreement grown wings and legs? How could it have disappeared? Um, Mr. Judge, you still can't find it? Sir, we're still looking for it. Yeah, uh, Damien, please, just give us a little more time. Uh, well, um, sorry, Mr. Judge. My chairman just called and I should be going back to the office right away. I think we'll award the contract to the second bidder. This is because your company has not shown enough seriousness. Good day. So seen it shall die. And death is the wages of evil. Evil release in the hearts. What you saw you will reap. A weeping may last for a while. Joy. Um, Pastor, uh, sorry if I kept you waiting. No, no, it's no problem, it's no problem. I try, you know, I just called me that we are out, so I rushed out. Brother Judge, the Bible says that the heart of man is deceitful, above all things, desperately wicked. Thoughts come from the heart, and evil thoughts are sources of evil deeds. Satan uses evil thoughts as a device of temptation. Um, Pastor. Yes. I don't have any evil thought towards my wife, if that's what you're driving at. I love my wife. Brother Judge, I know you love your wife, but is it God you love? The Bible says that men ought to love their wives just like they love their own bodies. Your wife is you, and you are your wife. If your wife says you hurt her, you harm her, and you do things that tear her heart apart, then you have to mend your ways. Pastor, why do you keep believing my wife and not believing me? Is sex the only means through which a husband can express his love for his wife? Strange and mysterious things have been happening, I mean, to me, in my house, in my office, in my business, everywhere. And my mind is preoccupied with these things. Brother Church, I know tension can make you act the way you do. But the hallmark of a true Christian is his ability to control himself. The word of God says, cast your burdens upon the Lord, for he cares. And all your psychological problems will go away. Thank you, man. Now, call your wife and let us pray together. Welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. I can see your glory, the glory of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You welcome in the name of the Lord. I can see you the rain, the glory of the Lord. You welcome in the name of the Lord. Brother George, you are welcome in the name of the Lord. Oh, oh thank you, Pastor. Did you know I was coming? Oh. The King of 
glory remains seated on the throne. Yes. Brother George, I was troubled by your trouble, and I've been asking the Lord why. Why, Lord, is your son in this precarious situation? Brother George, you are a troubled man. Troubled in the spirit and in the body. Pastor, is only in the spirit. Strange and mysterious things. Secretary, secretary, man, she. Your sin, your robo, secretary, but so go. Robo, Santa, can hear about. Brother George. The word of the Lord says, and these I say to you, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. And in Romans 6, 6, it says, knowing this, that our old self is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, and that henceforth we should not serve sin. Dearly beloved brother judge, I beseech you, abstain from fleshy lusts which war against the soul. Brother George, the glory of the Lord is upon you. Amen. Amen, Pastor. Um, Pastor, yes. has the Lord revealed to you about the havoc in my business and all the things that disappear mysteriously <laughs> just like that? Brother George, in 2 Kings 6, 16, he says, Fear not, for they that are with us are greater than they that are with them. And in Mark 10, 49, Jesus says, Be of good comfort. Arise. He is calling you. Jesus is calling you, brother church. Now let us pray. In Jesus' name, Amen. He's a moral neighbor to accomplish what concerns me today. If I could turn it all around, turn back and turn back the hands of time. So tell me, to what do we owe this special invitation? Why the haste? Let's take some couple of drinks first. Wait, Let's take others. Thank you. And this can be possible for us. Thank you. So I will walk. Fine, thank God. Everything is okay. You know, the emergence of this terrible system. Awesome. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Asked um, to what we owe this special invitation. Exactly. We owe it to friendship. Okay. Now let us toast to a long lasting friendship. Cheers. Judge, <laughs> you're surprising me. You see, we didn't just become friends yesterday or today. We've known each other for a very long time, I mean, 10 years to be precise. So, why make sure of it now? <laughs> well, I'm very happy that um, you understand it that way. And that means that our friendship has graduated to another level. To the level of brotherliness. Jide, 
you are my brother. And I am a brother in need. Jide, you are the only person now that knows everything about me. My wife, my entire family, in short, my entire life. You are the only person now in the entire universe that knows that I am HIV positive. Oh, come on, G. Yes. Come on, Jod. You see, if you're talking about divulging the secret, I never did. Okay, and I know that you never did. But just hear me out, patient. All right, go. I'm on here. You know what my wife and I went through before we gave birth to that boy that eventually died. Yes. You equally know that there is nothing medically wrong with my wife or myself. It's just that that's how God wants it. Conscience will not allow me to infect my wife because her blood will be on my hands. And I am under intense pressure, practically from everybody, to give birth to another child. My wife, her parents, my own parents, even our pastor. And I can no longer stand the pressure anymore. <laughs> Judge, you see, um, this is certainly a precarious situation, if you ask me. But tell um, me, what do you have in mind? You, you, Jide, I want you to sleep with my wife and get out of here. I want you to get my wife pregnant and save me from all this pleasure. Please. George, do you know the magnitude of what you just said? Yes. How can you even think about it? Talk more of voicing it out. Uh, have you gone insane? Look, Jide, even in the Bible, it is written. Now, when an elder brother dies, the younger brother is under a duty to raise children for the elder brother. When it comes to raising children, you know that I am practically dead. And you are under a duty to raise children for me through my wife. Please. You know what, George? I think you have to go and get your head examined. Excuse me. If I could turn it all around, turn back and turn back the hands of time. How could I be blind? How could I be blind that I could not see? It I could not see. How could see, I not see? see? I could not hear the voice of one. Are you on medication? What drugs are you taking away? What do you mean hiding from you? If I have a headache, can't I take drugs? Must I tell you I have a headache? That's not true. All those drugs could never be for a headache alone. But what is going on?
can't stand this pressure anymore. Look, I have the whole plans marshaled out. I'll drop her and she will not know. And, and it's not going to be for free because I'm ready to pay any amount. Look, look I'm going to pay 500,000 Naira. Yes, I will pay 500,000 Naira. Actually, you have nothing to lose because she will not know and you are like my blood brother. Did they help your friend? Pastor Ephraim has prayed for us. I even did a deliverance with him. You know, I know that I may have done, you know, one or two things that you didn't find very nice. I want you to forgive me. I'm sorry. And so I got us this to drink to our renewed love and everlasting joy. Does this mean that you're not willing to try for a child? Why not? I love children, you can say that for me. And what's marriage without children? Of course, I need a child. Does that mean tonight is guaranteed? Here.
see that I'm trying to join me. Six. Look, you don't seem to understand what I'm saying. It's not about the money. My conscience. Today, I want you to look. I want you to appreciate what I'm going through. I want to get out of all this pressure. Please. Today, please. Okay, just I'll do it. Okay, go. Thank you. Your baby is in good company. 
competition. Thank you. There's nothing to worry about. And well, don't you think you go for scanning so that you can ascertain the sex of the baby? <laughs> My husband doesn't want to know the sex of the baby until the baby is born. Baby daddy wants to keep the surprise. <laughs> Alright, if you say so. Alright, I'll be on my way if there's nothing else you want to tell me. Alright. Alright. Just take care of yourself. Thank you. And um, I'll be back next week. Alright. Hi. Bye. the above. Okay, I want you to change that above to foregoing. So? What I mean is that you should cancel the above and replace it with foregoing. So it will now read in view of the foregoing. This one is taking too much time. The first one wasn't like that. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a lovely baby girl. 
Can I see them now? No, not immediately. They are being cleaned up. As soon as that is done, of course you see them. Oh, thank you. 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 Look at 
this wretched, hungry, unfortunate, stupid doctor that could not even perform a simple task of impregnating a woman. Just that stupid monster. George, listen to yourself talk. I could not perform a simple task of impregnating your wife. <laughs> I could see that. You that could do it, why didn't you do it? Answer me, why didn't you do it? Because at your age, you could not even control your animalistic, unbreeding, and insatiable quest for sex. You contacted HIV, remember? And you got infected with AIDS. And you were not even mad enough to tell your wife about it. <laughs> of life it's the sadness of a love song am I leaving just to die it's all sorrows when I'm long gone is it the hunger in my eyes all the riches cannot buy me love is it the recklessness of man Silly 
things we take for granted Why should I be the one? I'm the slave of someone who wanted If I could turn Hold on, let me check if this guy is still here Change my right things for making me Is it late for me to try? I can't find this car. But it's okay, you all come with me. Take it easy. Please come with me. Let me take that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Killing, 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 and killing, and So seen it should die. The dead is the wages of evil. Evil lives in the hearts. What you saw, you will read. For a while, but joy comet in the morning. If I could turn it all around, turn back and turn back the hands of time. How could I be blind? How could I be I could not see it come. I could not see. How could see, I not see. see? I could not hear. I could not hear the voice of Like George is coming. George, are you okay? George. Jesus Christ! George. George! What happened to him? I don't know what happened to him! George! George! Oh, come on, George! Come to me, George! Come 
Let's pray for him, Mom. He deserves what he got. I think we should take him to the hospital. Let's take him to the hospital. Let's take him to the hospital. Come on, George. Come on, George. Come on, Somebody help me! Sorrows and wishing is really key. Turn back and turn back the 